Alright, so I just wanted to quickly show you why you should disable anti-aliasing in Dead by Daylight. This is just one of the examples that I found that was really obvious. So as you can see, in the first clip with anti-aliasing on, everything that has to do with movement is pretty blurry and it's kinda hard to like see in detail what's happening. Whereas now with anti-aliasing off, it is really clear what's happening outside of the window. Even if you move yourself, it's not blurry at all and you can actually see really clearly through the window. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. So to disable anti-aliasing, you want to open your file explorer. Then at the top, type in percent local app data percent. Then go into the Dead by Daylight folder, saved, config. And then if you're on an Epic Game Store, you want to click EGS. And if you're on Steam, you want to click Windows No Editor. Then you want to go into engine.ini, add this at the bottom, save it, right click properties, and then select read only. And of course apply and then okay. The reason you have to do it for this method is because it hasn't come as an in-game option in the not too distant future yet. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, yada yada. If you're used to normal content, I'll be back with that soon, I promise. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Um and yeah, recently uh we sort of accidentally uh disabled the ability to disable anti-aliasing, I believe. Um so we're uh yes. we hear ya, we get it. Uh, uh, we want it back to, we're working on it right now. I have like designs for the menus and stuff in the pipeline. So uh, yeah, it will be coming as an in-game option in the not too distant future. I don't know exactly uh, which patch it's coming in, but I promise we're working on it and I promise it's coming.